This is my 1987 Hafco um, Bridgeport clone mill, V-built head. I've had it for about 10 or 11 years, but I haven't really used it due to a number of factors. Originally it had a three-phase two-speed two speed motor on it. Um, I fitted this TK motor, it's a 2.2 kilowatt motor to it. And I've also installed a, um, a Hu and Yang VFD. So now it runs on um, single phase. It's the VFD there. Uh, that other one down the bottom there is the 110 volt transformer for the feed. Um, I've got a 12 volt in there for all the controls and a couple of computer fans. It's actually in an old computer case that I cut down. So I'll just turn the VFD on. With a socket on the back for. Um, 12 volts for the lights, switches, and all sorts of. Went a little bit overboard actually, but anyway. So normally I'll have the side cover on the the case, but I've just got it set up with um, external remote controls up here. I've still got to put a um, a taco on it. I haven't got around to doing that yet, but anyway, um, those controls operate it there. Plus, I've also got another stop-start switch down there with the original switches, which I've repurposed. So, the box is just a little jiffy box from J-Car. Um, forward and reverse switch, which is center off. Stop-start, I think I got them from Banggood or somewhere. Pretty cheap, the buttons, the switches, and a potentiometer for the control. So, I'll screw it right back. Doesn't even make the lights flicker when it starts. And I'll just use the speed control now. I don't have any power feed to the quill at present. The little um, bevel gear inside here is stripped. It's no longer available as a spare part. You've got to strip the whole head down and get it out. And I'm sort of in the process of just making up to use a manual feed, but I'm not really all that concerned about it. So, so this machine was in a, um, uh, um, a machine shop for using every, every day for 20 odd years and it's got a little bit of wear in the way so I've replaced when I first got it I replaced the nut for the table lead screw um, it was available at the time from here and forward for less than hundred dollars in postage big fossil bronze nuts you, you couldn't even buy the fossil bronze for that but um, that's pretty much all I've done to it really so but yeah very happy with the um, the three phase to single phase sorry yeah three phase to single phase conversion um, I actually picked that motor up at a swap meet 2008 for $40. It was almost new. Had a foot mount on it. Um, and I got on the Tico to see if I could get a, a flange mount. And remarkably, they still had one in stock. And I got it for less than $70 with postage. Couldn't believe it. 